How you doing? This is John Zimmerman with tabletclass.com and I uh, want to just go over how to work with exponents. Um, I'm just going to be right up front with you. If you're like totally lost um, with exponents, I I'm going to just say you're going to need more than this little video that I'm going to be able to offer you here. Um, so don't kid yourself, you know, go get the right help that you need because it's so important if you're in algebra or beyond to learn how to work with exponents. If you come to tabletclass.com, we'll turn you into a, a, an expert with exponents. But, um, you know, if you have a clue and you just need to kind of like brush up on this, I think this video will help you out. So what I've done is just wrote down different examples that would represent um, various situations that you might encounter with uh, working with exponents. I think a good thing you could do here is maybe like pause this video and just try these problems, see what you know and don't know. Okay. So the idea would be to, to would be to simplify these expressions using the properties of exponents. Okay, that would be like the formal task. Okay, but let's see what you know, and let's kind of grade yourself right now. So here I have x squared to the third power. Okay, when you have a situation like this, you can take this outside power and you can multiply it. Okay, using a distributive property to the inside power. Okay, so this would be x to the 2 times 3 or 6. Okay. Now that same idea applies when you have more than um, two, two powers inside of a set of parentheses. Okay. So I'm going to take this 5 and I'm going to distribute to this 2 and this 3. Okay. So this is going to be x to the 10th, y to the 15th. All right. Now all these here illustrate um, various rules or properties um, of exponents. Okay, You've probably seen them like this: a to the m to the n power equals a to the m times n. You know, it's very formal and very fancy looking, but it, all it means is that we can do what, what I'm showing you how to do right now. But you got to know this stuff. Okay, if not, you're going to be guessing, and you know, math is stressful enough for some of you. Just learn the rules, be able to apply them, and uh, Trust me, uh, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, how about this situation here? x to the 6 times x squared. Right? Anytime you're multiplying something where you have the same base, okay, in other words, these parts of the power are the same, we do what? We add the exponents. This would be x to the 6 plus 2 or x to the 8. Okay? Now, I can't, or we couldn't have done this if the bases were different. Okay? If I had x to the 6 times y squared, guess what? That's as simple as it's going to get. All right, All right moving on. Division. Okay, Once again, if we have the same base okay, and we're dividing powers, the way the rule goes is all we have to do is subtract the numerator's exponent from the denominator's exponent. So this would be y to the 8 minus 5 or, of course, y to the third power. And actually think about it, right? If I have y to the eighth power in the numerator, that means I have one, uh, I have eight y's being multiplied by themselves. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was painful. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This means, or this is just the long way or the expanded way of writing y to the fifth. And y to the 8th, we can write this way. So what we're doing really with this property is just cross-canceling 5 y's with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y's right here. And we're left with how many y's? Well, we're left with 3, or y times y times y, which is the same thing as y cubed. Okay. So another property of exponents. Okay, anytime you're dealing with negative, uh, negative exponents, like here, what do you do? We don't like to leave um, expressions with negative exponents. Okay, so you can't, you know, don't leave your final answers with any of these things like so. So to to handle something like this, a negative exponent, it, what you're going to do is going to go 1 over m cubed in this example. Okay, so to get rid of the negative sign with the exponent, you just simply um, move the power to the opposite side of the fraction. Uh, that was probably confusing, so let me go ahead and just uh, show this in a different way. So I really m to the negative 3 power is really um, m to the negative 3 power over 1. If I want to get rid of the negative sign, I'm going to take that m to the negative 3 and I'm just going to move it downstairs. So it's going to be 
one m cubed. All right. So I want to stress that because what if I had one to the n to the negative five power? Okay, one to the negative five power. Well, I don't like that negative five power. So what I'm going to do, okay, to get rid of the negative um, exponent is just move that to the opposite side of the fraction bar. So I can rewrite that as n to the fifth power, okay? And then the negative sign goes away, right? So just wherever it's at, move it to the opposite uh, location or the other side of the fraction bar and, and uh, get rid of the negative sign and you'll be good to go. Okay, let's take a look at our last example. Z to the zero power, okay, you ready for this? Drum roll, one, okay? Anything to the zero power is one. Okay, so one last thing. Speaking of one, one last thing I want to leave you with is please leave comments and uh, whatever uh, ratings, whatever the case might be um, for this video. We love your feedback. Tabletclass.com. Check us out. Okay. Uh, we like to believe that we teach math in a clear and understandable way. That's the feedback we get helping out real life middle and high school students like yourself. And uh, we have a 30 day free trial that will make your life a lot easier. Okay. So thanks for watching this video and good luck to yourself.